Let's talk about how to avoid the top five hanger installation errors. As we review these top five hanger installation errors, we'll also explore how to install the hanger correctly. Now, the first common error is an improper nailing of the eye joist. In this image, note that the side nail is driven into the bottom flange of the eye joist and it's installed at the wrong angle. It's driven straight into the flange. This may cause splitting of the bottom cord. The fix for this problem is easy. The nail should have been driven at a 30 to 45 degree downward angle. You'll also note that there are two nails installed in the underside of the bottom cord. Now, those nails aren't required to achieve the design strength of the hanger and the eye joist in this situation. So the second common error is improper bearing. Here, the carry truss is not fully bearing on the hanger seat. Some gapping of framing members in a hanger is okay, but gaps greater than an eighth of an inch? Well, those are unacceptable, and these large gaps will compromise the hanger's specified capacity. To ensure proper bearing, always make sure the truss is fully bearing on the hanger seat by placing the bottom cord of the truss into the hanger and against the load-bearing member. The third common error is use of an improper hanger. The problem shown here is the use of a non-sloped hanger, in this situation on a stair stringer. With the standard hanger shown here, which is mistakenly used, the wood is bearing only on the very front edge of the hanger. By using a hanger with a sloped seat, you get full bearing of the wood in the seat of the connector. The fourth common error is when shear nails are missing. The hanger shown here has no double shear nails, so it offers a reduced downward load and no uplift resistance at all. The nailing schedule is clearly incomplete. The solution for this error is simple. Be sure to install all of the required nails. The fifth most common error is the use of an undersized hanger. Now, this image shows a classic example. Hanger height must equal at least 60% of joist height. This is a rule developed to deliver enough hanger capacity and lateral stability of the connection. Now, to fix this without tearing out the existing hanger, framing angles could be added above the hanger to add lateral stability. Though the simplest solution would be to always use a hanger that is at least 60% of the joist height. Now as we said, hanger errors are common, but their fixes are easy to implement. So double check the manufacturer's recommendations for hanger size, recommended bearing surfaces, and be sure to maintain the proper fastener schedule. With this, you'll ensure both safe construction and code compliance.